Welcome back to a live activation. So, and I'll give it just a second for people to start coming in. Okay, we got a few popping in. Um, I'm at Mount Shasta right now, and I wanted to show you guys. I've got the mountain right in front of me. I am outside, and it's kind of raining a little bit. I just wanted to do this a very natural activation and share these energies with you. Let me know if any of you guys have been to Mount Shasta before. Let me turn it around. Okay, we're good. The first couple of days, Mount Shasta really kicked my butt. <laughs> um, I'll just share a little bit about my experience here and then we're gonna do a short group activation. Uh, the Lumerians wanted me to share these energies with you and connect all of us around the world. So that's one of the things, one of the reasons why I'm here and Katie's here too and she's in the chat. Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? Yeah, it's an amazing place, I highly recommend. So that's one of the things that, one of the big reasons why I'm here and why I've been called to here, uh, the Lumerians, which, you know, Mount Shasta is known as this huge mountain in, there's an inner earth city called Telos that is underneath it. And I just found out that there's also a military base nearby, which is a little curious, um, which is a little curious and a little strange. Um, and there's known for being tons of portals, vortexes here, and it's real, like really, really real powerful stuff. So the Lumerians came to visit me like a couple days before we left and I was like, hey, yeah, I'm coming to Mount Shasta, you know, just, just a heads up, I'm looking forward to connecting with you. And they said, we know we've been calling you here for months. Like they already knew. Hi everybody, it's sideways. Am I, am I upright? <laughs> I'm going live on my phone. Okay, and maybe we'll do this. Am I back? Oh my gosh. Here we go, this little butterfly. Okay. Yeah, this is my first time going live on my phone. I don't have my computer with me. So anyway, this I've been calling us here and that's one of the main reasons they were showing me light different points all around the earth lighting up and connecting these ley lines all over the earth and every single place that we go we are connecting and what they wanted to do with you guys live right now, and we'll start in a second, is also sending this Mount Shasta energy to each and every one of you, and then it spreads all across the globe. Bad Connection. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if it's good now. Because I am kind of in this on it, but here. Hi guys. But we can try that. Alright. Bear with me just for a second then. You guys want a tour of the Airbnb? So we're staying at an Airbnb. I know some people were asking where we were staying and if we were staying in a hotel. There's actually a pretty good amount of hotels here. Um, but it's a really, really small town. Very, very, very cute small town here. There, I don't know how many people there are, but it takes like 10 minutes to go across the whole town. So I'm just going to take a seat in here. And then let me know if this is better. Much better? <laughs> Free tour. <laughs> yeah, I should have shown you guys the back, the backyard too. There's a, let me turn on the light here real quick. A 
Okay, obviously this is very candid. <laughs> very off the cuff. Okay, let's see. So um, we actually, there is a lake around here. A very big, beautiful lake. Whenever I come back on Sunday, I'll show you guys some of the pictures of it. We went to a lake the other day and we actually met this other girl who was from another country. I'm just adjusting this real quick. She was from another country, somewhere in like Eastern Europe. It's good, okay, awesome. Okay, I get some thumbs up. I was from Eastern Europe. She had a very, very thick accent. And she said she didn't know, she just felt called to coming to Mount Shasta. She was trying to go somewhere, I think in like South America, but she said she just felt so called to being here like during the summer solstice. So that's, that's when, that's the main reason why we came is for the summer solstice, which is one of the most uh, powerful days of the year. The energy was crazy. And so this other girl from, it was, it was just divine timing, very synchronistic. A bunch of people came here, felt called to being here at the same exact time. And it's mostly for the grid work and helping to activate, um, bring your own unique energy and frequency to these places and then take it with you wherever you travel. So you guys will be getting some of that today. <laughs> Much better. Okay, let me check the chat for a second. Your family lives in Redding. That's awesome. Yeah, I saw that sign for Redding on the way here. Better? Okay. Much better. All right, yeah. So there's a there's a huge lake over here. There are waterfalls, huge mountain, a lot of hiking spots. Like I said, it's a very, very small town. Still off. Still off. Still off. I don't know if anybody's here still, but sorry, the um, connection here is not very great. Oh my gosh, there are <laughs> there are people on here still. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Like I said, very rural, very, very extremely small town. So I went back outside. We're going to try it for a minute. I'm probably just going to have to keep this really short and sweet. You guys like the butterfly? That's been um, a big sign this week. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so we'll just kind of do like a, sh a short prayer and I'll help you guys connect um, with them. But what I was saying before we cut out were uh, the Sasquatch. There's another Sasquatch clan here. There um, are fairies, a lot of fairies here. And I accidentally stumbled across a portal on day one. Hello, everybody. A portal on day one. So that's one of the big things with Mount Shasta. The, the vortexes, portals everywhere. Uh, as well as Telos underneath the mountain. It's just an extremely magical place. The people are very friendly for the most part. Um, <laughs> so day one on the summer solstice, we went hiking and to this place called Fairy Falls. And I sat down and meditated near this waterfall and there, there had been a rose placed like in this very suspect spot that looked kind of like a little like cavern type thing. And there was a beautiful rose sitting there and I've been seeing roses all over, all over everywhere. Yeah, tons of portals, tons of portals here. Very, very powerful. And so I sat down to meditate and then I saw um, a vision of a portal opening up and they were showing me the rose, go sit by the rose. So I walked probably like 30, 40, 50 feet over and sat right where this rose was and began meditating. That's whenever I saw the portal opening up. I saw uh, Lumerians, the Telosian beings coming up and there was two of them and they have long blonde hair and I'll share more about this on Sunday. Uh, and they were doing work on me and it got very intense. Like I felt a huge surge of energy. And I tell you, after I was done, after I stood up, I could barely walk because it was so powerful 
Yeah, there, it was crazy. They, they left. There was a rose sitting there. I've been seeing roses everywhere. And then I meet this girl at the lake who's from another country who is called here. She said, oh, you are sisterhood of the red rose. You come from this specific bloodline. And it has to do with uh, Mary Magdalene and Isis. I'm going to dive more into that because I know more about the galactic side of it. But uh, sisterhood of the red rose. If anybody's heard of that, let me know. And roses everywhere. It's been amazing. Sasquatch. Yep, and the Sasquatch. There's a clan of Sasquatch here also. And and fairies and portals everywhere. So apparently some people even go missing here. I think some people may accidentally walk into a portal and they end up in another, a whole other dimension. But, you know, we're divinely guided and protected. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, so I pulled some cards for you guys. And then, like I said, we'll do just a short activation. I'll do a full-fledged one on Sunday. Highly recommend coming here, though. I would love for all of us to get together and do a conference or some sort of a retreat here. The whole week has been, it just, it's been an acceleration. Huge acceleration. And like I said, whenever I stumbled across that portal on day one, I could barely walk because of all the energy surging through my body. I was like, holy smokes, Mount Shasta does not play games. It is powerful here. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's it's uh, raining. The sun's shining right now, but um, got a little bit of sprinkling, and that's nice. Oh, by by red roses, yeah. Yeah, and, and I was here for a conference, too, and just being around everybody has been incredible. Incredible. We've made, I feel like we've made some pretty big quantum leaps, especially with the solstice, a lot of people being called here. So I pulled some cards for you guys. I never pull cards. I haven't done that for you guys yet, and I wanted to see what came up, what having to do with, you know, the, this activation, connecting with these energies, the Lemurians, and just for the collective in general. And... The first one that I pulled was Awakening. This has to do with the Mount Shasta, the activation, the activations that we're doing. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. So you're receiving energetic upgrades heavily right now. And through these activations and specifically the energy from Mount Shasta, it will be a major energetic upgrade. And then you will have some integration to do. Look, there's roses on the back of it. Isn't that crazy? I'll take some cloud pictures, yeah. Mother Mary and Isis, I know, right? So energetic upgrades, massive, massive leaps and bounds, quantum leaps in the past couple of weeks. And especially with the Schumann resonance, doing that crazy DNA pattern, like things are just picking up so much. So after awakening, the second card that I pulled for you guys is leap. Leap, take the leap, the universe will catch you. You go first before it even makes sense. If you get a feeling in your gut to do something, do it. The universe is is guiding you. You're divinely guided and protected. It doesn't have to make sense. We, we need to follow our heart. So if there's anything that you feel called to doing, jump in. Third card, the initiation. This is the third card for you guys. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. So initiation is all about the rite of passage crossing the threshold. This is a card that I pulled recently where um, essentially you're kind of being tested right now. You're, you're going down this path and you may experience some turbulence. Some, th some things are happening. So you see in the picture, there's a thunderstorm with lightning and it looks all dark, but then right through the path, there's a beautiful place waiting on the other side. So you're kind of being tested right now and going through, there's snakes in there too, going through some difficult stuff, but it's just a test. Have faith, hang in there, and you will end up in such a beautiful place. This is, this is how you grow. This is how we grow. We have to experience the dark before we experience the light. How'd you guys like the reading? 
Okay, so Awakening, Energetic Upgrades, Leap, Trust the Universe, the Universe Will Catch You, and The Initiation. That's what the collective's going, my audience specifically, you guys are going through right now. Robert Gardner from Sedona. He's going to share his Sedona energies with us as well. So there is, um, is Thunder Mountain in Sedona, I believe. I was just hearing that Mount Shasta, in, and it's in Northern California right next to Oregon, is connected to Thunder Mountain in Sedona and portals on each one of these places, they're connected. So I'm sure uh, interdimensional beings, uh, our star family can go to one mountain and it will take them straight to the other mountain, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the Sisterhood of the Rose deck. That's what this is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hi, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. I'm glad that we have some service right now. You did get a nudge today to do something. I've been seeing tons of butterflies and roses all week. So that's something that I wanna dive into, the sisterhood of the rose. I'm all about the galactic. Um, that's what I dived into. Thank you, Zach, I appreciate it. Meditations help me keep faith. Thank you. I've, I dive straight into the galactic, you know, the star origins, Syrian, Lyran, what happened before this, but our bloodline on earth is also very important. We have very, very special bloodlines. So that's something that I'll like to dive into more. Robert Gardner says, yes, Thunder Mountain is in the center of Sedona. Okay, so Robert, you're gonna be in charge of Sedona. I'll be in charge of Mount Shasta and we're going to connect them. <laughs> Activate them. Yeah, I do think that some people may accidentally stumble upon portals and end up in different places. Um, I think that has happened. Hi guys. Okay. So let me see if there was anything else. I want to dive, I'll dive more into my experiences and more on um, Mount Shasta on Sunday too. Uh, Sunday I want to do an ascension acceleration activation using the energies from Mount Shasta. The, the Lumerians, their assistants to really accelerate our ascension and the process. I'm like right in the middle of it right now. Um, I know there's gonna be a lot to integrate after this, but yeah, the energies have just been so beautiful. And yeah, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to say. Does anybody have any questions before we do? And we'll do a very short activation, okay? Veronica, hi. I'm in Mount Shasta right now. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I've been here about a week. And I think if you guys do come to Mount Shasta ever, spending a little extra time there would be good because your body's like acclimating to the frequencies. It's pretty cool. Galactivations. Being showing up, wind is a good sign, Victor. M MS, how do you integrate? Integrate, reflection, uh, rest reflecting and that's actually the first card that i pulled for you guys awakening massive energetic upgrades activations but then integration so sometimes things can be very very fast at times like for me this week it's been very very fast in receiving all of these upgrades uh downloads light codes all of these things happening but then it may take you months to even integrate the activations that you receive or even receive the messages or understand the codes that you're receiving. So just resting and reflecting. Okay. Uh, Kat, is that the first portal you've experienced outside that I know of? No. Okay. So I believe that we, we, uh, they're saying I, I, I am a portal also through these live activations having to do with my throat chakra. But outside physically, Cochia Mounds um, at Woodhenge, I believe we definitely opened one up. There's one in my house, but the Mount Shasta portal that I experienced, that was the first time I've ever experienced something that intense outside. Like I swear to God, you guys, I, I stood up and I could barely walk back down the mountain. There was so much electricity and energy shooting through my body. It was insane. <laughs> 
It was insane. It was insane. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll start this short activation. I hope that reading was helpful. Thank you guys for being here. And I go ahead and start playing. Thank you, Cheryl. Love the live activation meditations. We did we did do some sky watches too, and we did see a ship powering up, pulsing. There's there's beings all over around here. The veil is extremely thin. So right now I'm sending these energies to each and every one of you. and every one of you. So go ahead and take a few deep breaths in and just kind of relax. Visualize Mount Shasta. The synchronicities have been off the charts since coming here. <laughs> Time speeding up. Huge shifts happening. So just, okay, and the Lumerians and Telosians are here as well. They typically appear like Nordic beings with long light hair. They are very wise. They are master healers. So we ask that they also send you some energy right now and assist you with receiving these energies. So go ahead and focus on your heart for a minute. We'll open your heart and your crown chakra so that you can better receive these wonderful energies from Mount Shasta. Focusing on the heart, your heart center. Feel your heart beating. You may visualize light or feel light starting to pour in through your heart. Connecting you to Gaia, to Mother Earth, connecting you to Mount Shasta. Connecting you to the Telosians, the local Shasta Sasquatch, the Fae, the angels. Feeling this beautiful light coming in through your heart and your heart begins to open. Allow me and the Telosians to assist you with opening your heart so that you can receive these lovely energies from Mount Shasta. Sending each and every one of you. Light codes, energetic upgrades, love. see all of us here on this live or watching the replay all of us connecting hands connecting energy connecting with each other all across the world this energy from Mount Shasta spreads through every single one of us Connecting dots across the globe. Introducing the grid to these powerful energies. 
So visualize and feel. Set your intention to spread these energies across the earth. These powerful energies from Mount Shasta and Sedona. See light going from Mount Shasta to Thunder Mountain in Sedona. From every single one of our hearts to each other. As we stand together holding hand in hand. Now the Telosians would like to send you some downloads and upgrades that will help you to remember who you truly are. A platinum light comes down from the grand central sun from the sky, from the Lemurians, and enters in through the top of your crown. Focusing on your crown chakra for a moment. Visualize and feel it beginning to open and expand. And see gold and platinum light pouring in. You may see codes, sacred geometry, or just light. However it comes. This is a gift from the Lemurians and Mount Shasta. See it filling your entire body, lighting you up. Just taking a moment to open up to receive this light. This energy from Mount Shasta. Expanding your heart. The Lemurians, Telosians, each send you love. They also show their gratitude for the hard work that you are doing. You are receiving massive energetic upgrades right now. Don't forget to allow time for integration. Things are picking up. Keep shining your light. And let's together as a group set the intention and just visualize one last time the light and energies from Mount Shasta and from each and every one of us spreading across the entire earth. Ascending the earth, ascending humanity, sending this magical energy, these magical frequencies. Activating the sacred sites around the earth Cleansing, clearing, and activating, purifying. Deep breaths in. Okay, we say thank you to the Lemurians, the Telosians. If you are interested in communicating or connecting with the Lemurians more, you may set that intention. A lot of you are Lemurian and connecting with these energies is a great way to help activate you, help you remember. All right. Can you guys feel it? <laughs> I felt it in my heart. I almost started crying. <laughs>
You can even ask to visit inner earth in your dream state in the astral realm to visit Telos. Uh, if you would like to work with the Lumerians further, I'm just kind of seeing if there's any other messages that they want to share. They're reminding that you are family. And reminding again that a lot of you have been there. Have inner earth connections. And they love you very, very much. They are excited for humanity, they're saying. Buzzing all over? Yeah. <laughs> that was day one in Chesa for me. Well, no, even we went to uh, breakfast this morning and I had to like walk outside for a minute because we were with like probably eight other people. Brad Olson was there. Um, Aaron from Journey to Truth podcast, his girlfriend Amanda, Katie was there and a few others. And just sitting at the table with eight star seeds I started, felt like I was floating, just buzzing all over the place. And let's go ahead and ground this energy also. So taking the energy, the Mount Shasta energy from your body and just pushing it down, spreading it out evenly down to your legs down into your earth star chakra helping you to ground there i wonder if you guys can feel it if i They've been wanting me to use my hands more. So pushing this energy to you. Awesome. Love you guys. Okay, let's see you feel it in the back of the head a lot, Victor says. Um, Michael, did I go to the headwaters? You know, so the, the conference I was at was literally right there, but I didn't actually go to the spring. So this is actually known for being some of the cleanest water in the United States, I believe. Maybe I'll walk down there after this. We did go to a waterfall. Feel in the back of the head. Let me see if, if what else. Lots of energy in my crown, Mary Beth says. Awesome. Excited, Laura. Hi, Laura. Um, feels good to be with like-minded individuals, Pamela says. Yes, it does. Zach, wow, felt that. They have beautiful energy. They are. They do have very, very beautiful energy. Cynthia, overwhelming love. Beautiful. Cat, so beautiful. My heart was bursting with love. Amazing. Buzzing all over. We got a few of those. Cynthia, hi. Betty's relaxed now. Awesome. Okay, cool. I'm so glad that uh, I was able to get better service to just share this moment with you guys and share some of these energies with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the people that you'll meet here are incredible. Also, very, very sweet. Just checking the chat real quick. Love the hands. <laughs> Activations. We've got the chakras and the hands activating more. New chakras are activating. New chakras are coming online. Beautiful. Mary Jean says, use your hands more. I felt that. See, that's what, whenever I did a session on my mom, I've never used my hands during a session before but they had me do that to her forehead and afterwards she thought that i had some like a hot stone or put something uh over her she was like really shocked that i didn't have like a hot stone she's like i felt something there she was really tripped out she was actually like what the heck it was weird so yeah using the hands more thank you for the feedback i agree they've been telling me to do that all of a sudden very relaxed amazing we got some thunder some lightning the rain naturally clearing the energy 
<laughs> okay, awesome. Beautiful. Well, I hope that you guys are feeling better. I will be back tomorrow. And on Sunday, I will do a another Mount Shasta activation, but we'll go in a little bit more deep. This was about connecting you with the Mount Shasta energy, sending you those energies and connecting the energetic grid all across the earth, connecting with each other, helping to open our hearts. So we'll do something else Sunday that'll be fun with the Lemurians and uh, the Sasquatch can come too and the Fae. All right, I did get I did get Andara crystals. I did and I'll, I'll have to tell you guys more about those but they're absolutely amazing. So I have them here with me. Lowell Johnson says that these crystals are like holding pure consciousness in your hand. They are incredibly powerful. I'm loving them. So I'll send you guys some of this energy too. Beautiful. Yeah, so these come from a specific place in California and the people who mined this, the, the uh, couple was here and they were selling some of theirs and I absolutely, I love it. Yeah, the Andara crystals are incredible, but you have to be careful not to get fakes. They look like colored glass. I got a few different ones. So I'll involve those on Sunday too with you guys. Very, very powerful. This one helps to activate your DNA. It's a sea foam. This one's for connection, uh, connecting, assisting, insisting, very powerful. All right, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you on Sunday. Bye, Michelle, Yvonne so shiny yeah they are they are amazing i'll tell you guys uh the name of the uh the couple who has the real andaras on sunday okay if you guys want to get one of these all right bye safe travels thank you